in part due to this question, wrapping up uh, the uniform progress check is, um, I guess the algebra one component. Um, what it actually asked you was, what does the probability of success have to be on the long hit in order for it to make sense for Miguel to go with the longer hit? So what it actually did is if we went back and looked at our problem from before, where we had this expression down here, this 0.4 times 4.2, 0.6 times 5.4. It's asking you, what does this first number, this 0.4, have to be in order for it to be advantageous or better for him to go with the long hit? So what we ended up doing was you could use any variable. I used x. You could have used p. You could have used anything. Um, I define my variable. So x is my unknown success of, of a long hit probability. So that same uh, formula from before, the expression from before, x times 4.2, that's his expected value on a successful long hit. 1 minus x, which is your failure, times 5.4, that's his expected value on a, um, a failed long hit. And it has to be less than 4.55. 4.55 was his expected value on the short hit. So now this becomes algebra 1. It really is. So we go ahead and we have 4.2x plus 5.4 minus 5.4x is less than 4.55. I've skipped a few steps. You don't have to show every step in the work. You just have to show how you set it up. So realistically, I could have gone from this step here down to this step here. Um, but what ends up happening is x has to be greater than 0 0.708. So you need to say in the sentence, his success long hit probability would need to be greater than 70.8%. So he would need to be sure that he could hit the ball over the water more than 70.8% of the time in order to consider uh, going with the long hit. 